Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're gonna see uh, the loading of a section uh, of a suction pile. So let's start. What is a suction pile? In uh, offshore construction, the foundation can be usually made of a suction pile. So it's a hollow pile. It's empty in it. We put it in the seabed and then we suck out the water from in it which will create a low pressure inside of the pile and a high pressure from water which will drive the spile through the soil. So uh, today we're gonna see the loading of a suction pile. <coughs> so this is the project properties. You can see the dimensions, then the layers will be made of clay okay so to save some time I made the borehole I made the material and this is the soil so before I start for uh, for an underwater construction in this case we're just gonna model a water of a level of one meter even if it's 50 meters under the water because the water has no direct impact on the stress due to the pile since the water is equally distributed on the pile and on the soil so if you are new to this tutorial, uh, tutorial just subscribe to my youtube channel and like the video I always make helpful videos for engineers especially civil engineers I'm gonna start by creating the suction pile so here we're gonna model half the pile you're gonna use the polycurve, uh, the polycurve uh, tool. You're gonna click on 2.500, and we're gonna choose the arc with a 2.5 radius. So let's start. I'm gonna go to polycurve. So here I have the snap option one by one. I'm gonna go to view uh, to uh, options. Visualization settings. I'm gonna put here two, and now I can choose two point five. So I'm gonna add one. I'm gonna put it here. Arc. Start angle is ninety degree. The radius is two point five, and the end angle is one hundred and eighty. From ninety to one hundred and eighty. I press OK. So this is uh, the polycurve. <coughs> now we're gonna extrude it to minus 10. Then we're gonna close the polycurve and create the top surface. And we're gonna make it as a, a rigid body. And I'll talk a little bit about the rigid body function. And we're gonna make a interface I already made videos about interface on this page if you want you can check them I'm gonna extrude it to minus 10 apply I'm gonna press on the polycurve and close the polycurve then I'm gonna create a surface then I'm gonna delete the polycurve line So we've created the suction pile. This is the form of it, half of it. We're gonna create a rigid body. We're gonna create here a positive and uh, create a negative interface. So here we're only gonna create a negative, one, a positive one. I'm sorry. No, no, it's a negative one. I've created the positive by mistake. Okay, so we're, so we're only gonna create a negative one since there's only soil contact just here. Here's its uh, here it's water. So if you know wanna know more about interface, you can go on my uh, YouTube channel, and I've already made the uh, tutorial about it. So I'm gonna choose custom here and give it the interface material. 
gonna leave a PDF uh, file attached to this YouTube channel so you can see how to create the material of the interface it's here you've already made tutorials about materials and how to create them. <coughs> so this should be the condition of the uh, of the rigid body let's check it okay so the condition is 2.5 minus 7 and this should be the displacement and rotation so first of all what is a rigid body when we are modeling something with a high stiffness compared to the soil and the stress inside the body and the displacement inside the body itself does not does not matter we can use a rigid body we will not get displacement inside the deformation of the plate or the rigid body or the stress in it but we can see it's uh, what it what it will do to the soil so this is a rigid body so we're gonna choose here 2.5 it will be the reference point which we will put load force so here we will put it force displacement force rotation moment rotation force so these are the conditions of the translation and the rotation the uh, the rigid body can uh, can uh, take a force from this uh, direction or the displacement so this is it for the rigid body now we're gonna create a helper element which is to refine the mesh we're gonna only create a poly curve at 7.5 and minus 15 it's only to refine the mesh I'm gonna close it and extrude it minus 15 apply I'm gonna create the mesh so there's a coarseness factor here so there's a coarseness factor to the suction pile Okay, I'll leave it this way anyway. So here we can see our structure only. We can see that the interface that we've made are not visible here because it's an interface and not structure. So the flow condition is plus one. It's head also. I'm going to create a phase. So we're gonna install the pile and load the degree. Yeah. Degree force. So I'm not gonna do now all the phases because it's the same. I'm only gonna do the loading in 30 degree. Uh, it's 1949. Okay. So we're gonna turn on the interfaces and the rigid bodies. We're gonna specify a force here. Okay, so this is the force for the rigid body. 
now we're gonna change also the solver type and reset the displacement okay so I'll check it set displacement so it's on it's faster this multi-core and let me check also okay max load fraction it's 0 0.1 so I'm gonna make the calculations and I'm gonna pause the video in order to save some time okay so when I made the calculation an error appeared so I didn't uh, put this condition right here I should have selected the rigid bodies and specified here 2.5 minus 7 and choose this condition here anyway and we're gonna view the output so we're gonna see the displacement of the pile before I'm gonna make a section so it will be 0 1 and 1 1 okay so now we can see displacement here and here it's the same so when pressing on ctrl plus or minus we can change the position of the section you can see the suction pile and how it affects the soil that's near it we can see uh, start to see that there's a small strain here the stress here is bigger we can see the stress then here is the soil near the suction pile so thank you for watching this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you